Magic is all about mystery. And this right here is what we consider to be the biggest mystery of all. David. Hello. Hello. You have a part in this mystery, and your part is to choose a playing card. First of all, all the cards are different. Mm. I'm going to place a rubber band around the cards like this. All I want you to do is open up wherever you like, like this, place the card in your hands. Oh, hello, we missed hello. you. <laughs> so just place your hand out for me. That's all right. And then look at the card you've chosen. Have you got it? Yes. Thank you. Alicia. Hi. Over here, I have a pack of cards. You can see all of the cards are completely different. You're going to cut the cards to wherever you would like into the pack. Okay. Okay. Have a look at the card that you've just cut to, just on the bottom, and place the cards back. Thank you. Amanda, I too have a deck of cards here, and as I drop cards to the table, all I'd like you to do is just call the word stop for me any way you like. Stop. This next card is going to be yours. Please show everybody, but don't let me see. Finally, Simon, as I run my finger down the side of the deck, I'd also like you to tell me stop. Stop. Please. Right here, yeah? Yeah. So, Simon, the exact position you told me stop at was, in fact, on the seven of clubs. Now, I'll leave the seven down there, but before we go any further, you could have stopped me on any one of the cards, correct? Yeah. Lovely. David. Yes. Just a moment ago, you randomly selected one of these cards. Correct. But I thought, wouldn't it be cool if I could make your card fade away? You look a little bit confused. But, I, I am, generally. <laughs> but I'm not just going to make one card fade away. I'm going to make 51 cards fade away, leaving only one card that still exists. David, for the first time, please say your card out loud. The Two of Diamonds. Ladies and gentlemen, the Two of Diamonds. <laughs> Alicia. I knew exactly what card you were going to choose. Really? You see, no other card has a message except for this one. For the first time, what is the card that you're thinking of? Seven of Diamonds. The Seven of Diamonds. Thank you. Every time that I do this, people tend to think that I'm using sleight of hand. What I'm going to do is place all of the cards inside of the box, and now there's no way I can manipulate anything here aside from the card on the table. Mm -hmm. So, if you have that card firmly in your mind, I'm going to take it back from you. And bearing in mind I haven't seen it, I'm going to slide it amongst the other 51 cards inside the pack and then seal it up. I'm going to place all of the cards into your palm and one by one by one, I want you to picture them start to leave the box. And in fact, you should be able to feel the box becoming lighter and lighter and lighter until it feels as if there could only be one card in there. Amanda, what would you do if I told you that this wasn't just your imagination and they're genuinely was only one card with every other single card now having left the box. Amanda, you have one card in your mind. Would you please announce it out loud? It was the king of clubs. Looks like we have a perfect match. Now, Simon, before any of this began, James mentioned a mystery. The mystery is, in fact, a sealed deck of cards within a glass bottle. You'll notice one difference between the deck and the bottle and the deck we've been using here tonight. And that is the cards in the bottle have a gold back. The cards we've been using over here tonight are red back. But watch closely, guys, because you're not going to believe this. All right. Simon, if I'm now holding the seven of clubs, but that comes from that deck, then where is the card you've just selected from this deck actually gone? We can't. I've gone from there to there, can it? James? We have no idea, genuinely, how this deck of cards got inside the bottle. But we know that there is only one way to get it out. David, mm. watch out. And as you can all see, the deck is wrapped in cellophane. And it is completely sealed.
Every single card is present, including the Jokers. Now, guys, you can see the deck is in perfect order. Every single card from ace through to king being in the right place. The deck is perfect in every way, apart from one. Come on. Now, everyone in here is thinking the same thing. Can that possibly be your card? No. Simon, for the first time, can you slide the card towards yourself? And if that is your card, the seven of clubs, can you please hold it high above your head for everyone to see? <laughs> it is. But wait! Stop! Stop! <laughs> this was always meant to be. In actual fact, Simon, you chose the seven of clubs. Amanda, you oh, chose the king of clubs. Oh, Alicia, you chose the seven of diamonds. And David, you chose the two of diamonds. <laughs>